What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and it looks like the cryptocurrency market is starting to recover. We are up 10% on the day. Bitcoin is back over $20,000 from hitting about $17,000, and the rest of the altcoins seem to be moving with, you know, Big Daddy Bitcoin right now. But a lot of people are asking, is this just a fake out? And I think so. I cannot see a massive pump from here. I see some sort of insane dip, right? Another insane dip or us to kind of dirtle and trade sideways for the next six or so months. But let me explain why. Over the past year, cryptocurrency has started being traded like a tech stock, right? If you think about the grand scheme of things, the market cap of cryptocurrency isn't really that big compared to some of the bigger companies in the S&P 500. Okay. What is our economy looking like right now in the grand scheme of things? Interest rates have gone up. They're not going to be going down anytime soon. At least that's what we're, we're, we've been being told, right? Inflation's crazy. You know, the cost of food and expenses has just gone way up. Okay. Well, not a lot of people have extra discretionary spending. And in a risky asset like cryptocurrency, I can't imagine this thing going absolutely parabolic right now. I just can't see it. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I watch a guy called Clear Value Tax, you know, meet Kevin, uh, you know, Graham Stephen, a lot of different people, and they're all saying the same thing. We're going to see a pump and dump, pump and dump all the way to the bottom until the market bottoms out. And then once the Fed starts, you know, going easy on the quantitative tightening, which is, you know, uh, trying to take money out of circulation by raising the interest rates, well, then we'll start to see a market recovery. But we're not going to see that till Q1 2023. That's what I'm hearing, at least. So that's why I think that this is a fake out. And hopefully a lot of people don't get murked. Now, I have been DCAing. I DCA'd yesterday quite a bit in some of my favorite projects because, look, at I am expecting the market to go down, but I don't know if the market's going to go down. Nobody knows, right? But we can look at what the what what evidence is given to us and what it's looking like is that this is some sort of fake out and the market's going to tumble some more because you know there people are saying there might be a housing crash there's a lot of turmoil in uh, in in our economy right now so you have to think about those sorts of things but when i dca i think about things like this although i'm not a big bitcoin person i don't really buy bitcoin i have some bitcoin but i'm not a big bitcoin person even if i were to dca at bitcoin at seventeen thousand dollars right and it were to dip some more yes i would have been able to get a better deal at the bottom but if we're bullish on cryptocurrency and a lot of us are bullish on cryptocurrency then we believe that it's going to surpass its all-time high or even get close to it again so me buying bitcoin at 17k instead of buying it at maybe 12k which some people are talking about is obviously worse but when it pumps back up to its all-time high of, you know, what, 69,000 or 65,000, well, then I still made out pretty good. So it's not about calling the bottom perfectly, right? But these are the times you want to consider buying the dip and DCAing and those sorts of things. And of course, you do what you want with your own money, but that's the way I look at it. And everyone who's been in the cryptocurrency sees it like that, right? Who knows how long this cryptocurrency market's going to be in, a, in the bear status? We don't know, right? But at this point, if you're bullish on cryptocurrency, now may be a good time to buy some of your favorite blue chip projects that are tried and true. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of this pump? I think it's artificial. I think that we're going to keep tumbling, but we'll have to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.